Hi there. This video is here to help you read and interpret information from a line graph. Let's start by looking at this line graph that shows the temperature over the course of a day in Cardiff in January and July. First of all, let's make sure we understand the line graph. If you need more help with this, you could watch our Constructing a Line Graph video on the Twinkle website. The horizontal axis, or x-axis, goes from left to right at the bottom of our graph. On this graph, it tells us the time that the temperature was taken. It is labelled in steps of 3 hours, starting at 3am and finishing at 9pm. The vertical axis, or y-axis, goes from top to bottom at the left of the graph. On this graph, it tells us the temperature that was recorded in degrees Celsius. It is labelled in steps of 5 degrees starting at 0 degrees and finishing at 25 degrees. This line graph shows us two sets of data. The key on the right tells us that the blue line represents the temperature on the 1st of January and the red line represents the temperature on the 1st of July. If we want to find out the temperature on the 1st of January at 3pm, we need to find that time on the horizontal axis and then draw a vertical line from that point to the line representing January, in this case the blue line. Then we need to draw a horizontal line from here to the y-axis. We can use the grid lines on the graph to help us. The point where we meet the y-axis will give us the answer. We can see it was 10 degrees at 3pm on the 1st of January. What was the temperature at midday on the 1st of July? Pause here and see if you can work out the answer. Let's check your answer. The point where the line reaches the y-axis isn't labelled, but we can work out that each of the intervals has a value of 1 degree, so the answer is 23 degrees. We can also read data from the graph the other way around. On the 1st of July, at approximately what time did the temperature first reach 20 degrees? We can only find the approximate time and not the definite time because we don't know exactly what happened to the temperature between the points on the line. This time we need to start by drawing a horizontal line from the 20 degrees to the point where it reaches the red line. Then, we draw a vertical line down the x-axis. The point where we meet the axis is about one-third of the way between 9am and midday, so the temperature reached 20 degrees at approximately 10am. Sometimes we might need to answer comparison questions about a line graph. For example, what was the difference between the temperature at 9am on the 1st of January and the temperature at 9am on the 1st of July? First of all, we can use the strategy we used before to work out each of the values. Pause here and have a go. Now check your answers. To find the difference, we need to subtract 8 from 18, giving us the answer of 10 degrees. How much did the temperature increase by between 3am and 3pm on the 1st of July? Remember, increase means go up. Pause here and answer the question. Let's check your answer. The temperature at 3am was 11 degrees and temperature at 3pm was 22 degrees. Therefore, the temperature increased by 11 degrees. Sometimes we can answer questions about a graph just by looking at the shape the graph is creating. For example, between which times on the 1st of January did the temperature stay the same? We can look at the shape of the line to answer this question. The line does not go up or down between midday and 3pm, so this shows us that the temperature stayed the same. At what time on the 1st of January did the temperature start to decrease? Pause here and see if you can answer this question. We can look at the line and see that it starts to go down at 3pm. So our answer is 3pm. These line graphs have all the key information missing. Can you use the shapes of the graphs to match each one to its title? Let's check your answers. The distance the car travelled would have increased throughout the journey. So this was shown by the red graph. 
the water in the bath increased until it was full, stayed the same when it was being used, and then decreased again when the plug was pulled out. This is shown by the blue graph. The temperature of a cup of tea would decrease over time, so this is shown by the green graph. I hope this has helped you to understand how to read and interpret line graphs. We have lots more line graph videos on the Twinkle website, including how to construct a line graph. So if you need more maths help, make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching.